and uh, Kelly stand before you, they are a single individual people, but they are also <coughs> supported by you. You are the family and friends that are, are behind them and supporting them. Uh, I'd like to ask, is there anybody here who has had, uh, let's say, 30 years or more of marriage? Would you just raise your hand? Oh my gosh, quite a few. 40 years or more? Well, you have a great one. 50 years or more? Oh my gosh, <laughs> hallelujah. Give them a hand. I mean that seriously. Today is a great day. You're going through the line. <coughs> give them a little advice. Uh, whatever it has helped you to get through all these years, let them know. All right? But we're going to have vows now. And, and the, the vows of the parents and the vows of the family and friends because you're going to support these folks as the years go by. So with the family, uh, with the parents, please stand first. stand before you, they are your son and your daughter. And this day they are becoming something new. They are becoming a wife and a husband. Will you recognize this day that they are now starting their own family? Will you support them, love them, and accept them in their struggles and triumphs as they become one? If so, will you please say we do? I do. And with the family and friends, please stand. Of Kelly and Jesus. As they stand before you, they are perhaps a niece or a nephew, a brother, a sister, a grandchild, or a great friend. To you, they are also becoming something new, a husband and a wife. Will you recognize this fact and realize their first priority is now to each other? Will you support them, love them, and accept them in their struggles and triumphs as they become one? If so, will you please say, I do. I do. Thank you very much. You may be seated. For as much as Peter and Kelly have been sitting together in the Holy Wedlock and have witnessed the same before God, their family and friends, their two have pledged their faith each to the other, declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rights. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let not man but not son. I bow my head a word of prayer. Eternal God, the Creator and Preserver of all human kind, Lord, and you are the giver of all spiritual grace. The author of everlasting life, we ask that you would be gracious and send your blessing. On Peter and Kelly, and we bless you for being in this day. And they may continue to keep the vows of the covenant that they have made in this day. May they always remain in perfect love and peace. Strengthen them and give them patience for the times that they are not in perfect love and peace. But look graciously upon them. They may love, honor, and cherish each other. So live together in faithfulness and patience. And wisdom and